He lost everything. Everything. I mean, you can't lose more than family. And then you lose everything on top of that. Man's got the shirt on his back and the pants on his waist. Like, that's it. Devastation and frustration sink in for Donald Cooley of Redding as he hears the news that his girlfriend's grandmother and niece and nephew did not escape the fast moving car fire that tore through their neighborhood here on Quartz Hill Road Thursday night. I mean, these people are so selfless that they take care of their grandchildren, or great grandchildren nonetheless. Um, you know, he gave you the shirt off his back and now that's his house. Donald and his family had been keeping an eye on the movement of the car fire Thursday. But when the fast moving blaze jumped the Sacramento River and came right into their neighborhood, it was too late for 70 year old Melody Bledsoe and her two great grandchildren, four year old James and five year old Emily to escape. The last we knew of, they were in the house. Ed was on the phone with them. They tried to get help. They tried calling 911 and they couldn't get anybody out here. Melody's husband, Ed, had ran to the store Thursday to grab supplies for he and the family to stay in place. Within an hour of him leaving, the house and the family were gone. There was no evacuation orders, nothing, and then all hell broke loose. It just exploded. Bledsoe's family feels with more reaction time and a larger evacuation order, their family members could have made it out safely. But when speaking to Cal Fire about the evacuation order protocol, predicting how a destructive wildfire will move and grow isn't always that simple. When the fire is uh, as intense as it, as it was, those are things that you can't really look at and say, oh, this is going to happen. And, you know, you prepare for the worst and hopefully that does not happen. For the Bledsoe family, the worst did happen. And now the family is left asking if there was any way they could have done more. Imagine being the man that wasn't at home with his wife and the grandchildren that he's been raising since day one because he wasn't told to be at home and he was trying to get supplies and be prepared. And imagine how you can't blame yourself. In Chasta County, Tish Pomadesi, KCRA 3 News.